Mm -hmm. I've been asking everybody to drink water today. <laughs> I'm a combat medic, 68 Whiskey. I was asked to come out to the range today to um, provide medical support for the men and women shooting the 50 cows today. So I'm just here to make sure everyone's safety is insured and make sure we have no incidents. Mainly the heat, especially this time of year, and you know, uh, me and one of the sergeants actually had a conversation about this. That, um, heat is a really big issue, um, especially in full gear. A lot of the times, like when we go into heat cats, uh, certain situations you can roll up your sleeves, unbosh your boots, and you know, you get more airflow. But on ranges, it's especially harder to maintain that without breaking the PPE. So it's it's harder, and there's a lot more heat cats on ranges, so I was, I was mainly worried about the heat. I brought my aid bag. My aid bag has all my, you know, to-go equipment. It covers, you know, airway breathing, circulation. It covers everything. I have splints, everything in there. I brought ice sheets, you know, for the heat cats, and then I brought my litter. It's like standard equipment that we're supposed to have. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of what I expected, and I think my training from AIT and BASIC really helps set in those expectations. So. You know, you don't get to see a lot of the same kind of situations on the civilian side as you do military side. So it's a, it's a cool experience to get like both aspects, like civilian and military training. So, I mean, um, it's a lot of practice I just get to keep maintaining throughout my career of healthcare. So it's... <laughs> I love healthcare. I'm, I'm, this is why I do my job. Yeah, I do love the National Guard. <laughs> I do. <laughs>